Johanna Zenga loves listening to music, but she's also interested in the scientific side of what's happening when musicians play together. To successfully create a harmonious sound, the brains of the players have to be coordinated in pursuit of a common goal. The researcher believes that this neurosynchronicity occurs when the brains of musicians playing together create a neurological meta-network. According to her, the phenomenon can be described as a kind of communal brain. Everybody has seen images of brain waves at the doctor's office or on TV. You can picture them in a very simple way as waves, and when the two guitarists are playing together, their brain waves are oscillating in the same way. That doesn't necessarily mean that the peaks and valleys of the waves come at exactly the same time, but that the intervals between the peaks and valleys are the same. These guitarists often feel a communal brain at work when they play together. You feel it with certain processes, and when you play faster or slower, at some point the dynamics just work automatically. What happens in our brain when we're playing together? I'm really curious to find out. I find it fascinating. The research team found that the duo's brain waves synchronize when they play a duet together. Zenger now wants to know whether the waves also oscillate in tandem when Viola Weiser and Duncan Taylor are playing different parts. In this scenario, their two brains have to coordinate continuously. Duncan plays the introductory bars. Even before the two-part section of the piece begins, his brain waves are oscillating in tandem with violas. A spectacular result. We've observed synchronization both within each of the individual brains and between them. What's interesting about this is that the synchronization doesn't remain the same throughout the piece the two are playing. Instead, they are particularly synchronized at certain points in it, especially when they start a section together. We believe that these moments of coordination between the two are very significant, and that this is why the synchronization between the brains then becomes stronger. A neurological network also appears when several musicians play together. At this experimental concert, the brain waves of some of the audience members are being recorded as well. And there are indications that their brains are also involved in or are responding to the network. Brain waves can also synchronize during other activities, for example, while playing certain sports or in conversations. Knowing more about the phenomenon could help researchers develop new therapeutic approaches. It could help us find better treatments for people who might be sending confusing signals and are therefore not able to properly communicate with others. We might be able to alter that somehow or find out more about what we need to do to enable that person to communicate more successfully. Like children with autistic conditions, for example, or people with acute schizophrenia. We'd like to have a positive effect on their ability to communicate. Johanna Zenger's work is providing some first steps towards that goal. It's just one example of how basic research may one day lead to practical applications that can change people's lives. <laughs>